Hey guys, I'm Ronella Hernandez, and today I'm at the Cardano Summit in Dubai. Joining me here, we have Jasmine from Rejuve AI. How are you today? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm well, I'm well. So Rejuve AI is an exhibitor today at the summit, and you're also a, a part of the Cardano ecosystem. So if you could tell me a little bit more about it and what, sh what the mission is. Uh, yes, so Rejuve.ai is building something that we call a decentralized longevity research network. Uh, so we're crowdsourcing uh, health data from uh, people all over the world to be able to infer better insights uh, into personal health and longevity and also to human aging as a whole. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay, wait, so walk me through that. Is it is it more of a, like a preventative type of application for health or is it um, like how, how do you use it on a more daily basis? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's both uh, preventative and uh, educational. Okay. So you uh, kind of, it's a health tracking app where you can enter uh, various different data about like such as lifestyle surveys, you can connect wearable devices uh, like Apple Watches and Fitbits and things of that nature. And you get a biological age calculation and then also some uh, personalized messages based around the hallmarks of aging, if I know what that is. Um, and then you also can earn uh, RJV tokens, which you can use in our in-app reward store uh, in exchange for discounts on various health-related products and services. Okay, like what, for example? Um, whole genome sequencing kits, uh, DNA methylation test, um, wearables like such as Garmin watches, supplements, and even uh, travel. Wow, okay. And how is that unique from other apps that are trying to do that or from like my Apple Watch? Um, well, for one, uh, when you contribute, you kind of, well, contribute your data to Apple. They don't really give you any rewards. You can't really monetize that. You kind of just give it to them and they, they make money off of it, right? Uh, yeah. So that's one aspect of it is that you kind of can personally uh, get rewards in exchange for it that you can use to better your own health and wellness. Um, that's a major aspect. And then also being able to uh, collect multimodal data as well, not just one or two types, but various uh, types. Uh, we plan to expand our catalog you know, into the actual integrating the genome data. Uh, with your health and uh, lifestyle data as well. Okay, that sounds really interesting. So how else can AI and artificial intelligence tools help us to safeguard our health? Um, so basically by being able to combine indeed all the different factors and take them into account, uh, you know, such as uh, what type of lifestyle that you have, you know, how many hours a day do you really have to exercise? You know, what type of uh, food do you have available to eat? Um, but you have yeah. to log all that in, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's, um, you know, we try to make it uh, interactive and fun as well. We've actually just done uh, a massive uh, redesign of the UX and UI. Um, so it should be kind of engaging that you want to sort of uh, interact with it every day and enjoy getting these little tips and uh, tricks for your health and wellness. Okay. And why build on Cardano? Why be a Cardano member ecosystem? Um, well, uh, Cardano is uh, quite a decentralized uh, blockchain, so it has like lots of advantages and it's uh, obviously progressing very well in various different kind of uh, social and environmental impacts, so really like that. And also uh, we're part of the Singularity Net ecosystem who has been uh, building on Cardano uh, before us, so we're following in their footsteps as well. Yeah, I know Singularity Net is doing a lot of um, improvements and with uh, humanoids. Specifically, Desdemona is here today. I think yeah. I'll go talk to her a little later. Um, so what do you think about that and maybe the intersection between AI and, and blockchain? Um, yeah, so we're definitely, uh, like one of our AI systems is already integrated on the SingularityNet uh, backend as well. And we plan to put all of them there as well. And part of the reason why uh, SingularityNet kind of branched into all these verticals is because if you're going to build uh, beneficial artificial general intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, the AIs and AGIs should be working on stuff that's actually beneficial to humans, uh, such as health. Right. So <laughs> it, it kind of it, uh, builds in compassion. Okay, okay. Can we truly have more compassion in a world that's so technological? Is that possible? Uh, yes, I, I think you can. I mean, you don't want to go as far as uh, c trying to algorithmize love, for instance, <laughs> but um, but definitely when we look at these technologies and being able to, you know, assist and make things better and kind of highlight areas that do need to be paid more attention to and being able to make things more fair. Yeah, uh, definitely. All right. And then one more question. It's a what if fun, creative question. If you could have any blockchain based superpower, what would it be? A blockchain based superpower yeah like if you could do anything related to web3 what could it be <laughs> well actually i'm kind of into uh time travel so i kind of mm. thought of being able to like you know put uh, the tokens into sort of a, a little bit of a virtual time machine but not one to really go back 
but uh, to kind of slow and, and stop moments uh, so that you can just like enjoy a certain space like this uh, endlessly without anything oh. happening on the outside. <laughs> well, then maybe that would be better if you could like, like make it into an NFT. Like if you could choose any moment in your oh, life, yeah, and I just guess. Experience the NFT. Right, yeah. and we experience it. Okay, okay, that could be fun. All right, well, thank you so much for your time today, Jasmine. Thank you.